Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. This is a very easy and quick tutorial uh, where I will gonna explain to you some basic materials uh, using Blender 2.8. Um, those materials uh, will work uh, with uh, cycles and with Eevee um, because during this tutorial we are only going to use uh, the principled BHDF shader um, that came uh, for the first time with uh, version 2.79 of, of Blender. Uh, in this case we are going to use uh, the 2.8 version uh, but if you have the 2.79 that is no problem at all because uh, that uh, will gonna work as I said before for this tutorial uh, we are only gonna use uh, the principle of VHDF and I will gonna show you how you can create uh, metallic uh, uh, materials like uh, copper, silver, gold, uh, bronze um, I will gonna show you too how you can create uh, some glossy plastic, non-glossy plastic um, and uh, I even can show you how you can create uh, a glass material. Um, this shader is uh, one of the most important, basically it was a shader that uh, was created um, in order to, to to combine uh, multiple layers that uh, have already existed before into a single node uh, to ensure that uh, we can have uh, a much more easy job uh, when uh, creating some some materials some textures um, for this case uh, we just need to prepare our scene let's go to the layout tab select the object and press the delete or the X key um, the next thing that we need to do uh, is to, to add uh, an environment texture uh, this is important because I want to show you how uh, the, the materials that we are going to create interact with uh, other objects on the scene but since that we haven't got any other object the easiest way to do this is to add uh, an environment texture I have already one I have downloaded it from HDRI Heaven that for me is one of the best uh, websites uh, for downloading those kind of pictures I will not do it as I said before I have already one so to add it just go to the shading tab select object here and click on world press shift a to add an environment texture connect the nodes to the background color and open the image okay if we click here to render preview as you can see i have already my image on the scene. I have downloaded a photographic studio. That's not a big deal. You can downloading download uh, the picture that you like most. Okay. Next step is to add some objects. Let's add a plane and let's add in this case a monkey okay let's place it on our scene scale it and let's add a subdivision modifier so that it became smoother okay and add a shade smooth to the object as you can see our object has got hasn't got any material so let's click here on new and by default 
it have added already the shader that we want. Um, it's very easy uh, what, uh, what I will gonna show you. Uh, now the first thing uh, is to create some metallic materials. Okay, as you can see, we have here a metallic property and it has the value to zero. And the only thing that you need to do is to increase it a little bit. Okay, and as you can see, it now has some metallic aspect. Um, I want just to change here some values on the on the render uh, engine. Uh, let's add, click here to add the screen space reflections and the surface scattering. Let's activate the refraction because later we want to to add some glass material and that was need, that is needed. Okay, and I think that is done for now. Okay, if we go again to, to the materials, as you can see, we have, let me just increase the number of, of uh, samples to 100. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a quickly created um, a copper, uh, no, copper, no, silver, I'm sorry, a silver material. Um, you can change the ragness to to make it more uh, more glossy or not okay and uh, if you want uh, for example to change it to to gold material you just need to click here on the base color and select a yellow okay i think that i have decreased the redness too much I think that is better now and um, in a couple of, of, of minutes we have created two different materials uh, in this case copper and silver I have forgot to tell you this before but basically you have two types of, of, uh, of materials uh, that are the metallic ones and the non-metallic ones uh, I have show you how you can create the metallic ones and now I will gonna show you how you can create the non-metallic ones. Uh, this ones uh, in, in, in this category are the plastic, uh, the, the paper, the, the glass, etc, etc. So now that I have reduced the metallic to zero, it, uh, it is no longer uh, a metallic uh, material the next thing that I want to show you is how you can create some glossy material like plastic you just need to decrease the redness value to zero let's just change the color so that you can see better and now we have here some cool nice glossy plastic if you are, if you increase the value of roughness to one, for example, you have something more like paper. And to finish this tutorial, uh, I will gonna show you how you can create glass. It's um, much easier. You just need to go here to the transmission and increase the value to one okay here on the properties let's just make sure that we have screen space refraction activated okay and now as you can see we have a cool nice green glass let's change the color let's make it much more brighter something like blue okay and as you can see it's easy as that I think that um, this shader is very very good you can explore it you can even add uh, an image texture you just need to press shift A connect to the base color and then 
let's go here try to download one picture it can be this one let's open the picture that we have downloaded and now as you can see it has been applied to our object and we can change the parameters that we have changed before but now we have uh, a picture over uh, that that um, that uh, settings okay that's very easy i hope that you have liked it uh, please subscribe my channel uh, if you do uh, i hope to see you soon